Folks, there are more women as well as women of color serving in Congress than ever before. In November 2016, 10 women of color, including Kamala Harris of California, were elected to the House and the Senate last night. Their achievements were celebrated by several political organizations, including Rosa Pack, which stands for Raising Our Sisters Assets Political Action Committee. Rosa Pack wants to get 100 women of color elected to Congress by 2043. Joining us in the studio is Anita Estelle, founder and chair of Rosa Pack. How are you doing? I'm great, Roland. How are you? Doing great. So, um, uh, 100, when you talk about the numbers, uh, 18 African Americans, 11 Latinos, and also uh, when it comes to Asian Pacific, 11 as well. Uh, and uh, it, is, it is very interesting because when you talk about on the, on the state level, I mean, that, that's where it's most hard is mm -hmm. uh, because there are very few uh, uh, African Americans who are elected statewide. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. But we want to change that. And that's why we've established Rosa Pack uh, to elect more women of color to Congress. As we uh, move in with that agenda, we'll probably expand our reach to support women running for statewide office. So we've had historic victories uh, this year in 20 or in 2016. And our goal is to elect 100 women of color to Congress by the year 2043, uh, when the collective majority uh, of women in the United States will be represented by women of color. So it's a very exciting development. That means we need to elect about seven women of color to Congress every two-year cycle. Uh, one of the issues, obviously, when you talk to sisters, resources uh, um, is the biggest issue when it comes to running for elected office. Yeah, you know, we have to save ourselves. We, you know, Rosa Pack is a nonpartisan pack. We, you know, we're, we're not, we don't care about parties, Democrats or Republicans. We care about issues. We care about, we care about criminal justice. We care about uh, economic security. Women of color need more money to take care of their families. They need better jobs. They need promotions. They need to be CEOs. We care about immigration, and of course, we care about criminal justice reform. Those are our filters for this year uh, and we'll have new priorities going forward. But it's really important that we raise money to elect these women so we need women to give and men too. We need all people to give to support these kind of candidates and when we support those candidates we'll see real change in Congress. Mm -hmm. how, how does somebody get involved? Well, there are lots of ways. You can go to our website, mm -hmm. Rosa uh, rosapack.org. You can sign up and get on our newsletter, uh, and you can email me. I'm the founder and chair of the pack, anita.estelle at rosapack.org or and uh, we'll be in touch with you. Uh, we're doing events. We're doing a number of events. Our programs will be up on the website probably by after the fourth for the year and you can people can uh, participate with our events. Also we're, we're going to be doing outreach in communities outside of Washington and developing affiliates in probably the ten largest cities where women of color are represented. So it's just a very exciting undertaking. Sister Still, you know, I've seen a lot of young women getting involved now, a lot of young non-white women on the PAC side raising money. You know, for somebody watching this who might decide, you know, maybe I could run for office, how do you recruit candidates? I know that's a big conversation now. Is you, how, are you, how are you searching for folks? What, what, somebody's watching this saying, I never thought about running for office, but maybe now I might consider it. A young non-white woman who says, I'm going to get in this. Well, you know, we're partnering. We really believe in the power of collective impact. And so we'll be doing some training ultimately, but right now, we're also working with groups like Emerge America, which does training and recruitment for women, women generally. Uh, Emily's List does a lot of training for women. Higher Heights uh, out of New York is the African American Women's PAC. Podea PAC is the Latina PAC. And the Asian American Action Fund is the PAC working uh, with the Asian community. All of them have some training program elements. As so I, yes. I think congratulations. I mean that that's a, a really great organization and a cause. And I, I personally am the the communications chair for Right Now Women Pack, and we supported 23 women um, who who won. Um, in 2016, we were also the, one of the first to support Karen Handel. We congratulated her yesterday in her office, and so we also believe that you know more women are needed, and and we face the same challenges. It's mentorship um, for women is lacking compared to the mentorship that men get in politics, and it's fundraising, right? And so that's why um, both of those are also the the two primary you know factors that keep women out of politics again what's your website uh, uh, rosapack.org and we're asking people you know to the extent that we're supporting uh, retail chains and uh, companies like Neiman Marcus and Macy's and whatever other stores people may frequent you know sign up for recurring donations ten dollars a month you know uh -huh. buy you a cup of coffee it could help put a woman of color in Congress all right we appreciate it thanks so thank much you. thank Let's you for having Florida me. weekdays on TV one I will never lie to you oh my my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore 
across. Uncensored. Hell no! no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.